Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. The mind, the thought life. And uh, we began to look yesterday at the mind and the thoughts in a negative way. And I wanted to give you a list of seven words uh, that describe the mind negatively. Number one is a doubtful mind. Number two is a divided mind, uh, a mind that is strangled by worry and anxiety. Number three is a deceived mind where we buy into the lies of the devil. And number four, we said, is a dirty mind, unclean mind. Now, today I want to give you number five, and we can all readily agree with number five, a discouraged mind, a discouraged mind. Yes, circumstances in our life have uh, become very unpleasant, and uh, we trusted God, we prayed, but nothing really seems to be happening. In fact, things seem to be going from bad to worse, and we are discouraged. We are discouraged at ourselves that we are not making much spiritual progress. We seem to be having more defeats than victories. We are discouraged as we look at our children. <clears throat> Sadly, many of whom are not walking with the Lord. And uh, we are discouraged that in spite of all our prayers, there doesn't seem to be any positive movement toward God. We are discouraged perhaps at what is happening in our local church. We are discouraged at what is happening in the world around us. Many causes of discouragement where the head hangs down and the mind is uh, uh, in a negative mode, discouraged. Well, in the Bible, we read of several heroes who were discouraged. They had a discouraged mind. But don't let that discouraged mind remain discouraged. We need to, like David, find our encouragement in the Lord. And this is where our quiet time is so important every day, to be alone with the Lord and to let the Lord minister to us through his word, maybe through some devotional books that you read, through eternal manna, that you would be encouraged and strengthened in your, uh, in, in your daily battle uh, against uh, the world and, and the devil. So that's number five, a discouraged mind. And number six is a depraved mind. Depraved mind. We are all born with uh, inbred corruption because of the Adamic sin nature that we received at birth. And we all have the propensity for evil because of this depraved mind. We are actually only a step away from committing a sin, either in word or deed. So we are depraved. Yes, we are saved by God's grace. We have a divine nature, but there's a raging battle between the divine nature and the fallen, sinful, Adamic nature of a depraved nature. So we need to make sure that daily we are feeding the divine nature because to the extent that we feed the divine nature, to that extent we will be victorious. And that's one reason why we have these devotionals, so that it will feed your divine nature so that you can win your battle uh, against sin and depravity. Amen. God bless you. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.